Hi Leos, thank you for viewing me today. You guys, welcome in and welcome back. I'm gonna get started right now. This is going to be good for all placements for the beautiful sign of Leo, Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, for love. And uh, Luminous Possibilities popped out and underneath the deck is the Moon Made New Beginnings. I feel that the fire signs right now are all about creating your own destiny in the upcoming weeks ahead. Your current energies, if it sounds like something you're going through, this is your reading. I feel that there's a lot of new beginnings around you right now for limitless possibilities, but you have to have the courage to step back into something. Sometimes we get uh, railroaded, and I don't mean railroaded in a bad way, but that retrograde set a lot of people back. I feel that if this is your reading, there's a big energies around you right now for pushing you forward for something you want in life. We are headed towards the end of the retrograde a few more days and everything is fast forward movement. Your current energies right now for the sign of Leos, please, spirit guides. If you've never viewed me, my name is Elena. I go by how the cards make me feel and what they're trying to tell me. For Leos, the Shaman's Dream Oracle is what I am starting with. Current energies around the sign of Leo, spirit guides. What do I need to see for the sign of Leo? Thank you. Current energies around the sign of Leo's. This reading is for, please, for Leo. Thank you. Anything else I need to see? Current energies for the sign of Leo's. I did see closing door. And it's telling me that there's a, a chapter in your life that is over. I have repairing the veil, forgiveness, and mindful group think. A lot of beautiful energy around you right now, Leo's. An eye of the eagle rising above the fray. A big energy around you for rising above the things in your life that you've healed from. The things in your life that you've been through recently that you had to tie a bow to to feel whole again. I feel there's a lot of beautiful color around you for new adventure, new excitement, uh, more creativity in the eyes of the eagle. Oh my God. And then you guys have the eye of the needle. Stars in the sky, limitless possibilities. Now, my cards are given to me and they are all lined up for you, but I do feel that Spirit is telling me right now you have the energy and the creation to manifest something that you want in the near future. The eye of the eagle is telling me that if you keep your eye on what it is you truly want and rise above whatever seems like it's disturbing you or has blocked you, set your intentions right now you have a lot of creativity around you for things coming together and realize that everything you've been through, your bows are tied, meaning that you had to do a lot of inner work for repairing yourself. The next card in front of me is the galactic mushroom, the divine matrix telling me that everything is coming together for you in divine timing, but something has not taken off yet, but it's going to. I feel spirit is telling me right now, Leos, if you're going into an energy of realizing that you're coming back into life, you're feeling more alive, Spirit is saying that you had to do a lot of inner work about healing something with yourself and something you've been through. I feel that right now with these two eyes, Leos, you are all about courage and determination and you are the king of fire. And I feel that Spirit is saying, set your intentions right now, rise above whatever feel hasn't worked out for you and watch what unfolds. I've been saying that a lot lately and I can't figure out why, but there's a reason. I have stranger curiosity, more color. Now, I, you guys, I'm given cards for color. And I feel spirit is telling me right now there's this new color around you of creativity, ambition, create just like a new sense of adventure. Spirit is telling me, follow your curiosity, follow the energies that are coming your way. Group think, meaning that there's a lot of people maybe throwing things at you to make you think of something in a new way. I have the crossing, the initiation. Spirit is telling me what you're going through right now in your life, if this is your reading, is that you're crossing into a higher vibration a new realm for a new year. I feel that right now you're just in the middle of the bridge. I feel that this is about you crossing over a line that you've drawn in the sand to get to another side, to get to a bigger place of something you want in life. The next card they gave me is the hollow bone teachability. There's a party that's been stripped down and sometimes we have to strip a lot of ourselves, our ego, our pride, something we once wanted to learn new lessons, to become a better person. I feel that whatever you've been through, Spirit is saying we had to strip you down through something, Leo. You've repaired yourself. I feel that there's a lot of energies around you right now to help you cross into a new realm because something is about to explode in your life. I don't know if you're aware of it or not, Leos, but you are one of the luckiest signs for 2024.
meaning that things are going to start to fit. Everything's going to start to come together. The last card they gave me is the crown's game, the right use of your power. Ooh, Leos. <laughs> Wow, Leo, you have your crown on. Um, it's a big card around you and it's telling me to tell you to make sure that you don't fall back into a trap of where you came into some power from before and perhaps you overused it. Right now you're being tested because you have the hollow bone teachability about feeling powerful again, feeling like the king of the jungle again, the lion. You know, Spirit is saying, make sure that you use this power that is given to you in the right way because you've been stripped down again to start something over. You're crossing over into a new realm, a higher vibration. Things are all aligning around you right now for something to take off in the near future. And you have the eye of the needle and the eyes of the eagle. So Spirit is saying, set your intention and follow your curiosity and the information and the creativity you're getting from other people, let it lead you in the right direction towards success. This is gonna be a very successful year for you. So Spirit is saying, use your power wisely. You have been stripped down to a new Leo. Go after the things in life that you want around you right now because something is going to explode in the near future. You are crossing over. Look at the colors again, you guys. Teachability, the hollow bone. You're crossing over to a bigger you. The sense of power that you're going to be receiving is asking me to ask you, make sure you use it wisely. Spread your love, Leo. Spread your enlightenment, Leo. Spread your power in the right way. You guys, it's a big year for you. Get ready. All right, you guys, if it sounds like something you're going through, you're starting to feel like more alive and you're starting to feel like you're getting your power back and sense of direction, Spirit is telling me to tell you, set your intentions, rise above the fray, but use your power wisely. All right, I'm going to look at your recent past because right now around you, there are stars in the sky, limitless possibilities. If you feel like you're a little lost, maybe needing direction, Spirit is saying it's the perfect storm, the courage to step back into life. Oh, Leos, I love your energy around you right now. It's power. It's coming alive and Spirit is saying, use it wisely and watch where it leads you. All right, you guys, I'm looking at your recent past a little bit. If it sounds like something you're going through, you're starting to feel like, I got this. I, I, I'm, it's because you are, but you're also, they want to see where you're going with this. Spirit and the universe always watches us because we've, you, I, I see you've done the healing. All your bows are tied. You repaired your veil and Spirit now is pushing you into a bigger realm, the crossing initiation into something bigger and better all right recent past there's always messages for everyone there i'm going to do the rider weight today recently behind you ten of wands and this is about you guys carrying around a lot of weights i always take a few under the deck i don't know who's under them but the ten of wands is telling me there was something that you were carrying around burdens weights i feel like it was burdens from something you wanted in life because the king of pentacles is under that but there was something you had to go through and it was to teach you to let go of things with love, a compassionate review of everything you've been through, judgment. Judgment's big, you guys. And people say, oh, well, okay. But no, judgment is a big major arcana telling me that it was a big lesson for you about letting things go with love. Learning that everything you've been through in life has brought you where you are today because a bigger and better you is here. And you have a new crown on, Leos, and Spirit is saying, use your power wisely, Leos. The way you use your power in the upcoming energies is going to tell me that it's going to lead you in the right direction towards success. Recent past for my beautiful Leos. What would you like to show me? What messages do I need to see? Recent past for Leo. Thank you. Anything else? Recent past. Thank you. For the sign of Leos. Takes them out of my hand. Oh, look at the last card they gave me. Leo. All right, here we go. Underneath the deck is the Hermit. A lot of introspection. Uh, the Hermit is a big major arcana about finding your answers. Sometimes we need alone time to find our own light within. You know, uh, I have it with the moon. I feel that recently behind you, you had to spend more alone time finding your answers about the things that have been hidden from you not knowing if you should trust your intuition, we all must go into the hermit mode for our soul to grow. Because whatever you've healed from, you have your power back. 
your Ten of Cups and the Chariot. You had a lot of will and determination to move towards the things in life you wanted and that were your ultimate happiness. But there were a lot of things hidden from you that you had to go within for. And now the Hermit to me is telling me that whatever you've been through recently behind you, the things that were hidden, you had to do some soul searching for to find your answers. Let's begin. I have justice. What is right? What is wrong? And I have it with my Leo is the King of Fire. Right use of power. Now, justice is telling me that whatever you've been through, you had to find balance with the things in your life and you had to look at everything with your own compassionate truth. You know, the King of Fire is your energy. It's Leo. You had your crown on Leos. Both these cards have crowns on, but Spirit is saying that you had to learn something about your own power and balance. You know, sometimes you're so passionate and so determined that, you know, sometimes you can step on other people's toes without realizing it. But Spirit is telling me you had to learn something about balance, about your ultimate happiness and go having the will and determination to go after it. But with the Hermit here, I feel that you did a lot of introspection about healing from things, finding your answers from the things that have been hidden in your life, the unknown. Sometimes we have to do our own healing because we don't have our clarity from situations. Nine of Pentacles. This is a card of self-mastery, feeling whole. I have two fives, the five of wands and the five of pentacles. And I have two cards left. They're right here. Two fives with the nine of pentacles. Whatever your battle was behind you was to teach you about what you, what it is that you want to feel whole with. The Five of Wands is telling me that there were a lot of other energies that you always felt you were going up against. And sometimes it can make us feel like we're alone, that our own journey is a struggle because the Five of Pentacles is a card about feeling like there's no help around. I feel whatever you've been through, you had to break a barrier of self-mastery and feeling whole. It's a, it was a rough journey for you, but you made it. You did it. You, you did the inner work with the Hermit here in the moon. I have another five, I have the five of cups, three fives showing up behind you, a lot of difficult energies. Recently behind you, you not only had to battle other energies, you had to get through an energy of feeling completely alone and climbing your way out of a rabbit hole. Because whatever you've been through was to teach you something about your own strength, knowing that whatever you've been through that you didn't have your answers on, you had to get your strength and courage back because this is you, the lion. You had to come back into an energy of your own power, of realizing that everything you've been through was to teach you that you have the strength, you have the courage. And Spirit is saying, you got your crown back, Leos. But now, Spirit is telling me, you're a hollow bone. All your bows are tied. You're crossing over into a new realm. How you use your power in the next few weeks is going to foreplay the cause and effect of what is coming your way in the near future. Spirit is telling me to tell you to remind you to do it with your generous graciousness. You're, you are the king of fire. Use it with your passion. Use it with your heart, your heart, your love, your lion heart. Because what's all around you right now is limitless possibilities. There's stars in the skies. So I feel that Spirit is just telling me whatever you've been through had to teach you something about your own strength. About realizing that you had to close your own chapters from an inner wisdom. Whatever you've been through, Spirit is telling me it's over. You have your strength back. You have your power. And you're feeling it right now if this is your reading. You're starting to come back into your Leo energy. And Spirit is saying, follow your own curiosity and follow the other energies that are leading you in the right direction. Keep your eye on the prize of what you truly want. Set your intentions right now, Leos. All your bows are tied because what you're about to go through is a crossing and something's about to just take off, explode. But I feel they want me to tell you, use your power wisely. You're a very powerful sign. You're fixed fire. And when you're the fixed sign, you have a lot of power and you don't even know it. All right. So I'm going to uh, look at what's coming in for you now. It's beautiful, Leos. Absolutely beautiful. And when we are the fixed sign, because I'm fixed air, I'm an Aquarius. I'm your polar opposite. You are my north node. I understand the energy of fixed. Sometimes it's hard to change our ways, but Spirit is saying be open to everything new. You have a lot of power in your hands right now. Set your intentions, rise above the things that have frayed you, and watch what unfolds because you have the galactic mushrooms. All right, let's look at what's coming in for you now. Whatever's going on right now, it's giving you a lot of courage to step back into something, and Spirit is saying follow it. Follow it. They want you to adapt to situations, take charge of situations, use your power wisely. I keep repeating it, but it keeps coming out of me, so Spirit wants to re 
remind you. All right. Okay. I'm using this deck today for your incoming. I got TikTok. The Wheel of Fortune. I got the round and round. Breathe. And truth be told to your happy, happy. Ooh, TikTok. Wow, something is about to be handed to you, Leos. But Spirit is telling me to tell you that what's coming in your way is follow your own truth to something. Stay in your own truth about what is going to make you happy. Stop getting caught in other people's drama. Stop being pulled into cycles that aren't serving you. It's time for you to stay in your truth and move forward towards the things in life that you want because something in your life is about to change at a drastic rate. The TikTok card is telling me that something is about to play out in your favor. It's about to move and move fast. Incoming, strongest energies for Leos in the next few weeks. What would you like to show me? Thank you. Strongest incoming energies for the sign of Leos. Thank you, spirit guides. What would you like to show me? Strongest energies for Leos. Are you guys ready? Underneath the deck is they want you to be flexible with something. Now, flexible is an energy of going back and forth, but going with the flow. They want you to be patient. Know that whatever you stand upon, you have to be patient. Go with the energies. Don't fight against them. I have message in a bottle. There's something coming your way to give you more information, and I feel that it's being pulled out of a body of emotion to make you feel alive again, to make you feel that anything is possible. I have come to the edge, meaning that there's something coming your way in the next few weeks to make you take a leap of faith with something. Follow your own instincts, Leo, because then I have truth be told, and it's a light at the end of the tunnel. Go to the sea. I feel what's coming your way is your own truth. Spirit is saying if you follow your truth in the next few weeks, if you stay in your own power of your own truth, it's going to lead you to the light at the end of the tunnel. Telling me that you are being guided in the right direction. Higher power is underneath that. Stop getting pulled into energies that are vicious cycles. Stop going back to a cycle that feels like it's over and over. Take charge of situations in your life that you want to come into fruition. You will have the power. First card on my left is new life, meaning that you're about to feel like alive again. A new energy is coming in for you to pull you out of a box. New abundant beginnings are coming in the next few weeks. You're just going to feel like anything is possible. I have why. I feel like spirit is telling me never question why things happen. They want you to go with the flow. They want you to stop questioning situations that you feel like are vicious cycles. They want you to be flexible with the energies in the next few weeks. Go to the sea. Higher power is pushing you in the right direction. Stop questioning why things keep feeling like they're going round and round. Spirit is saying, stay in your own truth. Get ready to leap on something. Take a chance with something that's coming in for you. Spirit is saying, you're going to know the right timing. Because right now they want you to set your intentions on what it is you want. The next card they gave me is your happy, happy. Spirit is saying everything is coming in for you to create a lot of happiness in your life, Leos. You're just going to be in a bigger energy of happiness. And then I got the cheetah and the owl, co-create. Spirit is saying you're going to know when it's the right time to pounce on something in the next few weeks. Be patient. I feel that something's coming in for you, for you to tap into an inner wisdom from something you've learned from before to teach you it's time to pounce on something you truly want. There's a lot of happiness coming in for you. It's going to open many new doors, but you must stay in your own truth and honor as the king of fire would. I just feel that. The card they gave me is building blocks. This is about you building one brick at a time. Spirit is saying, have the patience. Handle one thing at a time. You're getting back on top. You're going to be on top, but you must handle things one thing at a time. Don't think you can take it all on. You're going to climb back on top. And the last card they gave me is your tree is about to get a bolt. Regeneration. What's coming in your way is there's something that's going to give you an immense amount of power. And I feel spirit is telling me the bolt you are about to receive is leading to a place where you're going to be very happy. It's going to give you a sense of power. I, I feel this whole reading is telling me, be cautious of what you do with what you're handed. Stay in your own honor of truth. There's something that is going to push you into a new journey, a new life, a new life experience. 
it's going to lead you to a place where you want to be a lot of happiness but trust your own instincts leo it's the giant cheetah sitting on the cliff spirit is saying trust your own instincts when to pounce on something tap into an inner wisdom of the owl know that what's coming your way is to get you back on top of something but spirit is reminding me to tell you to please be flexible with the energies go with the flow don't force it it's going to happen you're about to receive some type of information i got the stork pulling up a bottle underneath the body of emotion i feel spirit is saying you're going to have all the information you need everything's coming your way they want you to be patient one thing at a time in the next few weeks what's coming your way is leading you in the right direction towards a new life because right now you're in the initiation the crossing to a new realm spirit is saying what's coming your way is a sense of huge power it's around you right now be flexible with it it's going to lead you to the place where you want to be you're happy happy to a new beginning a new life a, a new start over so I feel that what's coming your way is a lot of abundant new beginnings and just wait for the right moment before you pounce on something. Whatever's coming your way is pushing you to the light at the end of the tunnel to where you want to be. It was a beautiful reading for you. I just feel the big message Spirit wants to say is stay in your truth about something from something you've learned from before. You've grown, you've evolved, you have your crown on. All right, you guys, it was a beautiful reading. I'm getting messages from spirit guides about it. I'll get some angel messages and then Love Crossing will be at the end. But I'm going to get some uh, messages. Who do I want to use? Okay, I'm going to do the light seers. I don't know why, but we're going here. I have the queen of air. Stay in your truth. Trust your own intuition through the things that you feel that are blocked from you. Spirit says you shall have a victory. All right. I'm going to put them all back in. We'll see what pops out. I feel that spirit is saying, you know, the queen of error is you have a deep intuition. Spirit is saying, trust your own knowledge. Trust your own instincts through the things that you feel are blocked. Because the six of wands is your energy about having a victory. And you shall have a victory. Spirit guides, messages for my beautiful Leos. These are messages to tie this reading together for you. What do you want to tell the sign of Leos? about this reading today please if you can tell leos any messages today messages for leos thank you what do you want to tell the sign of leo any other messages thank you trust your intuition okay high priestess a big inner knowing and i cannot express enough about the energy of the high priestess the high priestess is a gut like when I, when my intuition is on fire, it's silent. Like I just know. Like when people are talking to me and I already know the truth. I listen to it. I trust it. They're telling you to trust your own intuition. Oh, I think I'm flying out of my hands. Eight of Pentacles. Keep putting the work into the things you want to come into fruition. The Eight of Pentacles is telling me stay focused. Keep your eyes on the prize. Stay hard at work and trust your gut. Seven of Wands. I have the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is sideways, and it's telling me that other energies will always try to block you, but Spirit is saying, put yourself in the bubble of protection. Surround yourself with a white light. Stay in your own power of your own energy of determination. Spirit is saying, you have all the power to block anything that comes your way to block you. Spirit is saying, you must trust your intuition and keep putting work into the things you want to come into fruition. In the next few weeks whatever it may be i have the chariot sideways another card of intuition spirit is saying that you know the chariot is ruled by intuition will determination it maneuvers around obstacles spirit is saying if you don't trust your own intuition you will not be able to maneuver around the obstacles just saying what the cards are saying i have the queen of fire and i have go to the sea the six of swords you know the queen of fire is all about intuition charisma passion charm this is about you guys using everything you need of your own power to push you to calmer waters because the six of swords is about the light at the end of the tunnel relocation travel make new plans i feel spirit is saying trust your own intuition use your charisma use your charms don't allow other energies to block you for something that you truly want but stay in an energy of honor is really what i feel 
There you are, right in front of me, the sun, my beautiful Leos. And this is what spirit guides are saying. Leos, you are the sun. When you shine, everybody shines. And spirit is saying, stay in your own power of the sun. Spirit is saying, if, if you stay in your own sun energy, trust your intuition, watch what unfolds. Watch about these all new opportunities that are going to push you to the light at the end of the tunnel. It's it, Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. The last card they gave me is the two of fire. Spirit is saying it's time for you to move forward with the things in life that you've been thinking about. The things in life that you want. The two of wands upright is telling me that you thought a lot about stuff, but you didn't do much about it. In reverse, it's telling me you ain't going to do much about it. But sideways is saying it's time for you to get out. It's time for you to go after the things in life that you've been mapping out in your mind, that you've been mapping out with your determination, your fire, or your will. It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to take a bold step forward and experience new things in life. Oh, Leos, your reading was magnificent, but trust your intuition. What waits for you is something that is about to unfold of a new life. But the sun is coming in, telling me if you stay in your own power of who you are, the sun, watch what unfolds. That's the big message. Beautiful reading today for you, Leos. I feel that spirit is just telling me whatever you've been through is behind you. All your bows are tied. You did the introspection. You did the healing through the things that you've never had your clarity on. Now it's time for you to come back into the sun and watch what comes out of the box. Wow, Leos, that was magnificent. Good for you. I'm going to get some angel messages now from spirit guides. These always tie the readings together. And I feel spirit is telling me today, Leos, it's a new life, a new year. You can have everything you want. The moon. Oh, um, you guys, I saw the way that card flew on my wrist. The opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. It's time for you to move forward with something. It's time for you to go after something you want. Thank you, Spirit Guides. A few cards for Leos today from the Angel Cards. You can tell Leos any messages today. Thank you for the moon. What would you like to tell the sign of Leos today, please, Spirit Guides? Two to three cards for the sign. Would you look at this? You guys are no laughing. I can't. I, I see the card. It's unbelievable. One more card for the sign of Leos, please. Anything else? You want to tell Leo's today? I'm sorry. I had to get one more for you guys. I just felt it was a beautiful card. Okay, the first card on my left is the Nine of Michael. They're all lined up and how I must take them. Nine of Michael. And this is what Angel Michael has to say to you. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. I have the ego. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Focus. What is it that you want? Let go of your worry. It's unnecessary. I have the Queen of Raphael. Beautiful card, Angel Raphael. Follow your heart, Leos. A love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. I've heard, seen it too much, you guys. Spirit is saying, trust your own heart and trust your own intuition through something. It's going to lead you towards a lot of new happy beginnings. I gave you the nine of Raphael. I saw the way this card is, was stuck. Angel Raphael has something to say to you. One of my favorite cards. Make a wish. Dreams become reality. A joyful time of life. Oh, Leos, come on. I mean, you guys, this isn't self-explanatory. This isn't a message to you. There's no coincidences in my reading. There's none. If you've been viewing me for a while, you know that. Last card they gave you is the lovers, card number six. There's a message here for you. Archangel Raphael. Make choices from your heart, your lion heart. Deeply emotional commitments, the power of your love. Go after everything with your lion heart, your lion love. And watch what unfolds. You know, deep emotional commitments with life, with the people you connect with. I feel that spirit is telling me this year is going to be such a place of abundance for you. Make your wish and set your intentions and trust your intuition. Beautiful reading for you guys. Um, it was magnificent as a matter of fact. I always say that, but your reading today was just like, wow. 
All right, you guys, happy Saturday. Wishing you all many beautiful blessings. I am rolling into love crossing. If you are not dealing with anyone or in a very harmonious relationship, they are not going to be for you. I always ask for difficult energies. Hopefully two people can work it out if they love each other. All right, you guys, many blessings to you. Thank you for your love and support and have a beautiful day. For those people out there dealing with somebody, I'm going to grab one deck. I'm going to do the everyday witch. I don't know who's under these decks. I got a lot of decks in front of me. We're going here. These are the strongest love crossing. They may or may not be all your persons. I ask for the strongest energies and what I'm feeling. Ace of Pentacles, and I have the fool, but I got someone who's got a major broken heart. Somebody wants a solid start with you, Leos, a new opportunity. They want a beginning. They want to take a leap of faith, but what's blocking them is they still hurt from a lot of heart pain because they're staying in their truth about something, the Queen of Swords. All right. And then it was the devil. I'm not going there yet. I just feel whatever you've been dealing with has been wrestling through a broken heart of something that happened from the past. Love crossing energies. You know, it takes some people a long time to get over a broken heart. Those three swords can last a long time. They really do want a solid beginning with you, though. Spirit guides love crossing for my Leos. Strongest. Tell me about the love crossing energies my Leos have been dealing with. Thank you, love, crossing energies for the sign of Leos. What would you like to tell me about the love crossing my Leos have been dealing with? Thank you. Anything else? No. Card that flew over away. Oh, oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Ace of Cups, sideways. I saw the way the card flew. Ace of Cups sideways hmm. i see this card too under the deck i have another ace i have the ace of swords this is their current energies this person has seen a new truth and this ace can hurt this is a card of someone who wants the truth they have a clarity they want information i have the six of wands and i have someone who keeps looking back the page of wands but they want to move forward they've been very distant from you leo's they want a passionate brand new opportunity with you and they've been trying to pull it in at all costs. But for some reason, I feel somebody here has been blocked from something and it has to do with some type of pain. Now, I can't see all the cards. I see these two. But when I see an Ace of Cups sideways... Ah, uh, all right. So this is the card that flew to my left and crowning it is the Nine of Cups in reverse. It's somebody who's giving up on a wish. What they truly want is they want a new beginning with you with love. I got the Four of Pentacles in reverse, which is telling me it's a person who's starting to not hold on too tight to something that's happened. I feel that they feel something between the two of you has been blocked. I feel this person wants a reunion. They want to get together, but I feel they feel there's other energies involved here. This is their energies. And it's to their Ten of Cups, their happiness. A lot of love energy in this, Leos, but the Nine of Cups in reverse is telling me it's someone who's given up on a wish. Ace of Wands and the Hermit. Whoever you've been dealing with, because I have a lot of aces here. I have someone with a new truth. They want the truth. They want the clarity. I got somebody who is wants a passionate brand new beginning. But they've been doing a lot of introspection about something between the two of you. They're trying to find their answers with something. You know, sometimes it takes a person a long time to find their answers. They want to be alone. I feel whoever you've been dealing with has been dealing with a lot of pain. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I just feel it. I feel that their true wish is to have an opportunity of love to a new beginning, but they're still they're still kind of holding on to something, but I feel they're starting to let go. I feel that they're starting to find their answers about something, and I feel it has something to do with you. Like they keep looking back. They keep looking back at what was there, what it was, what they want, the magic between the two of you. And I feel they're trying to take a leap forward. They're trying to move forward, but they're having a really hard time, Leos. I feel this person wants something to come together for the tree of love and life, but there's other energies involved here. Now, I don't know whose side it's on, and I'm not going third party. Other energies can just be other people giving them advice. 
it's blocking their ultimate happiness with you, Leos. They're, I feel they're kind of listening to other people and not trusting their own intuition on something. But they are trying to find their answers, and that's a good card, meaning they've gone within. So if someone's been a little distant from you lately, I just feel that they've really been trying to pull something here in. Emotionally, they're tired of feeling like something here. They have to walk away from it. They're very disillusioned about love. They're very disappointed about love. And they feel there's too many other energies getting involved here. And then I have the devil. So the devil is telling me that it's someone who feels that it's Capricorn energy. I mean, it, it, I don't think, see, and it's with the Three of Swords and the Queen of Swords and then the Five of Cups. I just feel like this person has been in big evaluation mode about something between the two of you and that's been toxic. They feel other energies have gotten involved, it's broken their heart and they don't know whether to trust their intuition or not because they're very disillusioned about something here. They don't know if they've made bad choices, but emotionally they're starting to feel like maybe it's time for me to walk away. Can this really ever happen? Because they're still dealing with a broken heart. Three of Swords, Three of Wands, Three of Cups, a lot of threes here. So I just feel there's other energies involved. I just feel this person has, they want some type of truth. They want some type of clarity from you. And perhaps that's why Spirit is saying, use your power wisely. Now, if this is someone who did you dirty, well, you know what to do. I don't need to tell you, Leos, you're smart, you're brave. Now let's look at their intentions because I feel this person wants to heal something with you immensely. I really do. I feel they want open, honest communication with you. They want to heal with you, Leos. Okay, I'm going over here. I saw this deck in my head. That's where I'm going. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, and the world. I don't know who's under these decks. With the Queen of Love, the Queen of Healing, the Queen of being open to something with love. They want to talk to you about something, Leos, and they either want a closure or they want a new beginning. But let's see what the cards want to say. Their intentions towards Leo strong as next few weeks. This person loves you immensely. They have not been able to get over you. Strongest love crossing intentions towards my Leos in the next few weeks. Spirit guides, thank you. What would you like to show me? Love crossing intention towards Leos. Next few weeks. Thank you. Strongest love crossing intentions towards Leo. Thank you. Anything else? Love. Crossing attention towards Leos. Thank you. Hmm. Fuck. I'm sorry. I knew it was going to be this card. I, I, I just knew it. It's the star. Love. Crossing attention towards Leo. Thank you. I didn't mean to say the F word. I do apologize. Uh, I just knew that card was going to be the star because they want to heal something. I felt it. Queen of Cups. You guys, this person wants to be open to something with love. They want to feel whole again. They want to talk to you, Leos. Leo, this person has not been able to get over you. They want to balance something with you. They're willing to put the work into it. They want to feel this connection again, the Two of Cups. All right, first card to my left is the Two of Swords in reverse. This person is not at a crossroads in the next few weeks. They're going to come out of a, a place where they had a blindfold on. They've been at, they, they haven't been able to find a compromise. They're going to find a compromise because they want to heal something with you. I'm telling you. Six of Swords. It's someone who wants to get to the light at the end of the tunnel with you. They're turning the boat around. I already know what's coming your way. Here comes the Ace of Cups. Here comes the Chariot. You guys, this person's coming in. They want to mend something with you. If this is somebody you truly want back in your life, they're waiting to hear from you, Leos. Leo's like, I know what you're saying. I can hear you. Five of Cups. The Knight of Wands. There it is. And the Star. Big Major Arcana, Aquarius Energy. But this is someone who has a lot of hope and faith of healing something. They really want to heal. They want to find balance with you again. They want to come out of an energy of feeling like nothing can work out. There's no hope here. They want to come in and they want to try to work something out with you. You know, the night of fire is a fast night, but it's a very determined night. I feel this person's very determined to heal something with you, whether it can start anew or not. And that's what I feel in the next few weeks. They're coming in to talk to you. Last card they gave me. Is this over or is this not? Is this a completion or can we start new chapters? It's the world. I feel this person is coming in to heal something with you, Leos. They want to know, is this over or can we heal this? Can we start over? What you do with it is up to you, but this person wants this connection to work out. 
and they're counting on luck and right timing. They have been manifesting something here left and right in the next few weeks. They are going to try to make something happen here. Like I said, what you do with it is up to you, but this person wants a new opportunity of love. They want a new beginning of love. They're tired of feeling like nothing here can work out. They're tired of being at a crossroads about finding a compromise with you. They want to heal it and they want to close a chapter to start something new with you, my beautiful Leos. Right use of power. All right, you guys, I'm leaving it there. If this is somebody you want to work something out with, it's going to happen if it's meant to be. I feel this person is ready to heal something with you. They want to move forward. If this is somebody you want nothing to do with, well, you got a new life ahead of you in the sun. Come on, Leos, your reading was magnificent. All right, you guys, thank you for viewing me today. Wishing you all many beautiful blessings. Energy shift like the wind. I'm just going to say, counting on luck and right timing for this connection. All right, you guys, have a beautiful Saturday, an amazing next few weeks. Thank you for your love and support, and I'll see you next time.